You know you're making this real tough to make this video, you know that. Hello and welcome back to NAS Compares and today I want to talk about how to install Kodi on your QNAP NAS. So many of you have been, you know, have been watching my YouTube videos, have been, you know, visiting me on the blog and have all seen me utilising Kodi on different uh, QNAP NAS. But as soon as you get hold of your QNAP NAS, you notice when you go to the App Center that there you go, there is no Kodi app available to you. And I'll be honest, it can be very frustrating because so many places out there are telling you that QNAP NAS is the best for Kodi because it's got a remote control and it's got multiple HDMI slots readily available. The problem is that as early as, you know, I think the early stages of 2017, QNAP decided to abandon, hello Kitty, QNAP decided to completely abandon having the Kodi application on its app center. The reason being, do you mind sitting down? The reason being that of course Kodi has been associated with shall we say certain negative elements to do with piracy and copyright infringement. And unfortunately Kodi does make it very easy with certain add-on services that we're not gonna mention aloud as well as downloaded content, which of course NASIs are a download station to many degree and people utilizing that Kodi application to circumnavigate the law. And unfortunately, Kodi decided to pull the plug on official support for Kodi. However, and there are two main ways in which you can still get the Kodi application for your QNAP NAS, as well as, as you can see on the screen, the likes of Netflix and other popular applications. There's a slightly harder way and a very easy way. It's up to you which one you want to go for. The first way is to install the QNAP Club Store. Uh, the QNAP application store, and I made a video about this a while ago, but I'll go through it really quickly. Um, there's actually ways to add unofficial app centers to your QNAP now. So where's the normal app center that's got all of the officially supported and indeed beta apps from QNAP? You can add a whole new store if you go to the top right in the settings menu and enter a new app repository. Now do check out my other video or visit the article there on NAS Compares to tell you exactly how to add that store and it, you add an entire whole host of new applications as well as two versions of Kodi version 16 and 17. Now doing it that way, it's a little bit harder. I've got to say it's not the easiest way and it can be a little bit hit and miss. Also because the applications that are on there aren't updated anywhere near as frequently as they should be. The second way is to, again, visit the link there at the bottom in the comments and they'll take you to that article on the screen there. That article has got the latest revisions that I found of the Kodi application for your NAS as well as Netflix and a bunch of other apps too. If you head there and you've got a QNAP NAS as an HDMI port, just download that app there. It's a very small QPKG file and then go onto your, Kodi, um, your QNAP NAS, go to the App Center, go to the top right. There should be an option to uh, uh, install unofficial apps. Go to there, click browse, browse your local directory where you've left your Kodi QPKG file that you downloaded from NAS Compares there. Once you've got that file, uh, select it within the uh, App Center interface there to upload an unofficial file, double click that, and it will install the Kodi application and then make it readily available via the HD station software, in other words, the HDMI port on your QNAP. Now I appreciate this all sounds a bit technical when you don't have a QNAP in front of you. So don't be afraid to contact me at NAS Compares there and use the free advice section and I'll help you as best I can. But before you go, two major, major factors to bear in mind. One, this Kodi application and the app that's on there does not, is, you know, this QNAP do not officially endorse you utilizing this application. So if you, when you do install it, you install it at your own risk. So do be aware of that. There are other applications available in the App Center you know, XMBC styled, as well as the likes of Plex, MB, and Twonky as your media server of choice instead of a media browser, if you will, uh, for your collections. The second thing I want you to do is keep it legal. Don't utilize Kodi and use the add on services or download, you know, dodgy blue um, uh, BitTorrent applications. Uh, you know, you rely on the good, sensible sources and get your content legally because if you don't, what you're doing is ruining it for everyone else as well as breaking the law, which you shouldn't do. So, if you've got any questions, bug them in the comments. If you want to follow my guide on installing Kodi on your QNAP NAS, do go to the link right there at the top there in the description, and that takes the NAS compares to all the guide is and the links to the apps. And finally, don't forget to click like and subscribe. This channel, this, you know, this whole YouTube channel is going to exist on likes and subscribes alone. So I need your support to do that. So if you found this useful or you enjoyed it, like, subscribe. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.